Lisa Ferrero with Sisters Place, and uh, Sisters Place is a nonprofit that services homeless single parents and their children. We provide housing and supportive services, and we're located in Clareton, but we service all of southwestern Pennsylvania. We like to look at um, transitioning from homelessness um, as with this model where we are not just looking at the need for housing, like the physical structure, but we're looking at resources and support that really helps people to transition from homelessness to independent living. Um, now, goals vary uh, from person to person, from family to family. We do service moms and dads and their children. And we have a transitional program and a permanent program. The transitional program is for folks who are uh, facing more of an acute situation that has caused their homelessness, where the permanent program is for folks who have a disability, either um, physical or mental health disability, including addiction. And so that's more long-term support. And literally, each person has some individual goals that are set up. Uh, we have programming available, groups, and each family has a case manager working with them and a child development and education specialist. Uh, we have an after-school program for the little kids um, where they get picked up in a van or taken to after-school programming where they have educational opportunities and some fun tutoring, things like that. Well, it's all about opportunity, um, providing an opportunity to folks um, to, to be all that they can be, really. Um, making sure that they have the resources and um, the opportunities to move on to the next step in their life, to move past and beyond homelessness. And that homelessness uh, impacts all of us. Um, you think that homelessness is just um, you know, a certain area of town or a certain type of person, but it's not at all. Um, you could literally be running into somebody at work and just not know what they're going through at home. And so, you know, here at Sister's Place, we meet people where they're at and help them to get connected with um, other organizations that can also help them and uh, make sort of building blocks and goals that they can um, work with their case manager to make achievements to um, do what they want to be doing. It, it, and that's to be to either be working, going to school, um, taking care of their kids, taking care of their home. And so everybody deserves that opportunity. And this is for uh, homeless single parents and their children to get that opportunity to do more and be more. We are not looking at um, the housing only sort of model. We want to look at sort of the whole spectrum of needs, understanding that it wasn't um, just a random act typically that's caused the homeless situation, um, whether there's addiction, domestic violence, um, medical issues, um, the loss of a job, loss of a loved one. We want to um, go where that family is, whatever challenges they're facing, and sort of help them weather that storm to move on to whatever's next in their journey. Every day something happens here that touches me and makes me grateful that I have this job. Um, and you'll find that with all the staff. We have 12 people that work here that love their jobs and love the work that they do. Um, this morning I had a group from a turkey hunting um, wildlife group come and bring us 32 turkeys for our food bank. Um, I ran into one of the moms who, um, whose little boy just turned one, who I remember when he was just an infant. And she's doing amazing. She's going back to school to be an RN. The little boy is doing amazing. He's just about to learn how to walk. Um, and she's down at the program center, like right now, volunteering to help us with our food bank. Um, it's just literally like one thing after another. And it's not that there aren't bad days um, or hardships that we face. You know, funding is always a challenge. Um, explaining to people, um, helping them to understand beyond the stigma of homelessness and explaining what we do and why it's important is challenging sometimes. But um, it's seeing that little boy's face and that smile and seeing these um, big grown men come and deliver 32 turkeys so that all of our families can have a Thanksgiving. Um, 
it's being here at Christmas time and the whirlwind of gifts coming in and wish lists and um, the Christmas party and Santa Claus and everything. Um, it's just, it's a good place to be. Uh, Sister Mary, our executive director, her leadership is unbelievable. Um, she has it in her heart um, to make sure that we are working towards the mission of Sister's Place. And it's truly a mission-driven organization. Every, every one of us, no matter what our role is, no matter what our capacity is, we're working together um, to help folks out of homelessness, you know, to help them have that opportunity. You can look for us online. Our website is www.sistersplace.org. You can like us on Facebook. You can pin us on Pinterest. You can tweet us on Twitter. Uh, what else can you do? You can look for us on YouTube. And uh, I don't know if I missed any of them, but we're trying really hard to embrace social media. But when you go to our website, we have all those links right on there. So you can find us wherever you're socializing. We're trying to be too. There's lots of ways to get involved. Um, a little goes a long way here. Um, we have a volunteer um, right now from Point Park University down at the food bank helping us to sort donations so the women and the dad, we have one dad right now, can go in and do some shopping while they're picking up their food bank. Um, we have folks who come in and help us with mailings. We have volunteers help us on events. Of course, a dollar does a lot too. <laughs> you know, making donations helps a lot too. Um, but not just cash donations. Um, you can donate uh, non-perishable food, um, diapers, um, things like that that um, we'll use for our food bank, um, children's toys. Um, it's always helpful to call in about donations to make sure that we can um, place them with somebody where they'll be used. Um, but just I would just recommend that somebody give us a call or send us an email. You can call us at 412-233-3903. You can ask for me, Melissa. Um, and maybe you have an extra coffee pot in the basement that you're never going to use. Call me and we'll use it. <laughs> so this year, on November 12th, 2013, we celebrated our 20th anniversary of our incorporation, which is really an exciting milestone for us. We uh, brought together some of our uh, board members and close friends and did a little celebration, but we're really considering this like a year-long celebration. And um, we not only look forward to this upcoming year of continuing our mission, but we hope for many years that we can continue to help homeless single parents and their children.